नमस्कार वी वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम स्मॉल सूत्रज विच हेल्प इन आवर डेली प्रैक्टिस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एलैबोरेट अ सूत्र विच आई फाइंड मोस्टली ट्विस्टेड मिस इंटरप्रिटेड और दैट इज एक्स्ट्रा पोलिटेड रैंडमली हेफाजार्डली सो आई थॉट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन द सूत्र एंड देन द वैद्यास ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स दे कैन यूटिलाइज द सूत्र ऑफ कोर्स आई कैंट कंट्रोल सो मेनी थिंग्स which are going half hazard or illogical but still it is my humble effort to convey the exact meaning of the sutra and then we can go ahead the sutra is kshaarohi yati madhuryam shigram amlopa samhita that appears in the madatya chikitsa of charaka samhita it is often interpreted with the analogy of acid plus alkali is equal to neutral that we experience in 11th and 12th and we do titration that is given the, the same analogy always now let us go to the sutra so first we see the adhikaran the adhikaran tells us that the excess consumption of madhya leads along with the madhya whatever you eat or previously eaten that leads to some product which is which is kshariya kshar now here kshar is not the seventh rasa it has all, all, already defer refuted that kshari is rasa has been refuted previously in the sutra san only so here the kshara is not rasa it is a product and kshara lavano ganha so the rasanam parinamante vipaka vino so the vipak of this kshara is padavin mutra and excessive madhya plus eaten food leads to some baddha vidmutra or katu vipaki parinam so that's why the acharya expects that kshamyatam <laughs> acharya expects that this should be compensated with something and so he tells us that kshaaro hi yati madhuryam so to remember thing is dakshar is not ras but it is a product of the excessive madhya and the acharya has already told us that madhya is priorityly amla rasa and it has four anuras accordingly the composition of kshar is available and you have to compensate or you have to compensate that kshara bhav so that it doesn't hamper the body physiology and they expect you to utilize the amla rasa now the thing to remember is here the kshara hi yati word is used yati indicates that this is a reversible process in titration once we add acid and alkali and it becomes neutral we can reverse the process but here the process is reversible that means yati word is used yati yati itself indicates as reversible process temporary process that implies that if the patient or the person consumes more 
अम्ल मध्य दैन इट इज ऑलरेडी न्यूट्रलाइज और वॉट एवर माधुरियम द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू चेंज इफ द पेशंट कंज्यूम्स एक्सेसिव अम्ल रस टू कॉम्पेन्सेट क्षार इट इज गोइंग टू हेम्पर द अम्ल बेसिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ दैट सो दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली टेम्पररी फेज इट इज नॉट परमनंट फेज अदरवाइज द वर्ड वुड हैव बीन यूज इज क्षारा मधुरी भवती आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरन्स द वर्ड यूज इज क्षारो ही याति माधुर्यम एंड नॉट वर्ड क्षारा मधुरी भवती If the word was क्षारा मधुरी भवती मधुरी भवती then it was a irreversible process. That is the product has been changed already, but not the case. So you have to remember that here the क्षारो ही याति माधुर्यम is a temporary and reversible process, and the word would have been used is क्षारा मधुरी भवती so it would have been irreversible process that would anal analogy would have sufficient that acid plus alkali is neutral one more thing acid plus alkali is equal to neutral this thing happens only in the lab it doesn't happen on your body i hope you get my point that is if you somehow accidentally pour some acid on your hand and then you try to neutralize it with alkali yes it is going to burn your hand so the lab manual explains that if you met with some accident or drop some acid or alkali on your hand you have to wash it rinse it with plenty of water and then neutralize it with n by 10 acid or alkali whatever if you are burn with acid you have to use alkali but that is n by 10 it is not of the same potency huh? i hope you remember the 11 12th chemistry so this is acid plus alkali analogy is absolutely lokagata vichar it's not purushagata vichar and kshaaro hi ati madhuryam it is the purushagata vichar that is it is it has to do something with the person hmm? so you can't uh, just uh, directly correlate the analogy of acid plus alkali is equal to neutral with the kshaaro hi ati madhurya many students have some misconceptions about this sutra so i try to explain that and i think many senior vaidyas already they do have some misconceptions like that because the analogy is perfectly fit in their mind and that is acid plus alkali is neutral some 2 3 days ago i received a post on whatsapp of course you don't have to rely on the all the post because we are not sure that is written by any authentic vaidya but i found that there it was written that blood is of two types kshariya and amliya and the blood causing heart attack is amla dharmi so you have to use pumpkin juice a lot of pumpkin juice to neutralize that amla rakta i have my elder senior cardiologist sister highly reputed in pune she forwarded that post me post to me i was surprised and again there was it was written that this is quoted by wagbat so i was more shocked rather than rather than surprised 
Okay? Let us forget that. So, the take home message is Kshārohi Yati Madhuryam is purely reversible process. It's not static process. It is dynamic process. Another thing, Kshārohi Yati Madhuryam is Purushagata Vichar and not Lokagata Vichar. So these are the two most important and primary messages for the younger generation. And accordingly, you can use this sutra in your diagnostics or Aushadhyamad or Chikitsa, whatever you want to do. Thank you.